good evening um, in this particular video i would be focusing on the main schools of the darshan shastra now these are uh, given to us uh, i should say in almost all the books that i referred to in my early, in the previous video uh, of mine and you can have a look at it now here first and foremost that you need to remember is that they start off giving you i mean radha krishnan in his book gives you introduction to upanishads puran then vedic period and then he goes to the darshan shastra and in some school darshan shastra they say that there are uh, exactly these number of schools you know wherein uh, you will see charva is one of them jainism follows up immediately then comes buddhism then they combine nyay vaisheshika together however i prefer nyay school to be read separately vaisheshika school to be read separately because uh, somewhere uh, you know differences are present and it is always better to demarcate and draw that particular line of difference between them similarly sankhya yoga they combine together for me sankhya has a different philosophy and yoga though they combine it that's fine that's okay however read them separately yoga also separately and even sankhya similarly mimamsa school has been divided into two parts purva mimamsa and uttara mimamsa um, when we are discussing about the prasangikas of uh, you know apart from buddhism mimamsikas are also present and we need to understand as to how they differentiate their philosophies completely vedant i don't have to discuss much about it because all of us know there is monism so it would be called as single vedant if you are talking about dualism then it would be called as advait vedant so we will see later on how many schools are there and how to pertain however remember that uh, charvak jainism buddhism nyay vaisheshika sankhya yoga purva mimamsa uttara mimamsa vedant and advait vedant are the important schools of our indian philosophy prior to charvak you have got veda uh, vedas then you have got upanishad puranas sub puranas are also there then um, uh, you know there are medicinal schools that also has been claimed as separate source of knowledge so you have two important schools over there charaka and shishrata school then comes in ayurved then um, you know you can even treat it as a separate uh, domain of knowledge so <coughs> i would say that i would be focusing more on charvak jainism buddhism nyay vaisheshika sankhya yoga mimamsa and vedant schools only in our curriculum and then we will uh, just be jumping now i won't be taking much time to understand what these schools because i need to focus on the textbook of nyay siddhanta muktavali so i have to give you uh, an overview about various concepts which are available in terms of the philosophy of language with this i'm going to end this particular video and let me come up with yet another one where we will be discussing more about it till then thank you